had the pleasure of introducing an old friend to Gardner. She was a fellow co-worker, a very good friend, and Michael Jackson's sixth grade teacher. In fact, Michael wanted and hoped that she would be here today. Mrs. Laura Gerson. This is like old home week. I spent 20 years in this place. It's nice. Uh, it doesn't seem like 20 years that I first met Mar uh, Michael. I walked out onto the playground and there sat this beautiful little boy with another, with a man, and we called our children in one by one. And as I looked at this little boy, I said, gee, is that a beautiful child? I hope he's mine. And he was, much to my great happiness. It was our uh, custom always to collect the children in that way. And as uh, I remember thinking uh, that I had never heard of the Jackson Five when somebody told me, this boy is famous. I had never heard of the Jackson Five, but somebody more hip was, was cued in and let me know. But he never talked about himself, and he was just one of the kids accepted by all the children, and we settled down for a year of togetherness. I knew that his schoolwork was carefully monitored by his parents, and we were visited often by the people from his record company. I came to know that he was a fabulously talented young man who disappeared now and then to, to perform on national television. I knew that he was a kind, gentle, and intelligent young man whom we were all proud of. Of course, I could never know that he would become the most well-known superstar in the world, or that he would become the most original dancer, singer, composer, and choreography on the world stage, choreographer on the world stage. How happy I am for him. He's a wonderful man. I believe that what I most respect in Michael, with all of his magnificent talent, is his kindness, his generosity of spirit, and his willingness to help the unfortunate of the world. I have wanted to talk to him and often wished I could reach him, so I'm doing so now. Michael, it's an honor. Where are you, dear? <laughs> It's an honor to present this plaque to you on behalf of the parents and faculty, past and present, of Gardner School as a token of our respect and our love for you, not only as a performer, but as a fine human being. Here you are, dear. Um, first, I'd like to thank my teacher, Mrs. Gerson, <laughs> and um, Mrs. Rose Fine, who's another one of my teachers. She's here also, and I'd like to thank her. I am deeply touched and honored that the PTA principal and faculty members and students have been so kind as to dedicate the auditorium where I sat as a child in my honor. <laughs> we must all never forget that the children are our future and without them mankind would become extinct. I thank um, Ms. Gerson, I love you, and Ms. Rose Fine, I love you, and uh, the Gardner Street School Associates and all the children, I love you, thank you. I'm Robert Wilson. I've got to be the luckiest kid in my school because <laughs> I get to welcome you personally and present you with this key to our school. Thank you for coming and making this such a special event. Thank you. Thank you very much. Michael Jackson. 
Jackson and Lionel Richie wrote and recorded the song, We Are the World. They wrote it to take a stand. Now the Garner Chorus would like to sing it for you.
alumnus Michael Jackson will unveil the letters for the auditorium named in his honor. I thank the boys and the, the singing group, the boys and all the people of Gardner Street School. This is the happiest day of my life. I love you. Thank you.